Under the veil of dawn, the first of the summer season staff headed to the southernmost continent. And as they got airborne, Please follow the directions of safety warden, he'll be over. More were preparing for the day's second flight. This is probably the best mission that I've ever had. Today we've got a whole bunch of Scott Bay's crew heading down there and um, yeah, we're looking forward to, to a season of supporting science down there. Kiwi team members are also keen to reunite with their 14 colleagues who've wintered over. So they've been through the, the darkness of the winter and you know uh, we're the first big group of people that they'll see. Science is the main drawcard to the ice. No scientists in today's contingent though, but each is vital. I'm going down to be the base engineer and I'll be looking after the power side. Even a priest is headed south. We look after the chapel of the snow. Around 350 Kiwis are headed for the ice this summer, some for just a few days, others for several months. Most of them will be working on the 42 science projects Antarctica New Zealand supporting. So most of them tend to be focused on the dry valleys, penguins on, on Ross Island, ice shelf dynamics how it pivots against Ross Island. Most of this crew will be back to civilization by February, although some have 13 long months ahead of them. I really miss milkshakes and, and uh, McDonald's and things like that. <laughs> Today's departure exciting not just the passengers, and there'll be a hundred more flights over the next five months. Joy Reid, One News.